Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to feed your fish and how to grow some food for them. So here are all the supplies that we're going to need to feed our fish today and grow some food for them. As always, I'm going to have everything listed on screen as we go along the video. So the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to feed our fish pellets and we're going to feed them black soldier fly larvae. You want to go ahead and get the highest quality pellets that you can, and I only feed this to my koi, but you can feed it to your tilapia as well if you're not really planning on eating them. You can grow your own black soldier fly larva if you're raising quail as well. What you don't want to do is you don't want to feed them too much at one time. What you want to do is you want to give them little bits throughout the day and cater how much you're feeding them by how much they're actually eating because you don't want leftover food sitting inside the tank to rot. So those are the first two things I feed my fish. I also feed them fresh sweet potato leaves as well as fresh moringa leaves yucca leaves, and alonga leaves. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to pick off little bits of these leaves and we're just going to put them in the water. If you're feeding your larger tanks, you can just put the entire leaf in there and they'll cut it up and do what they need to do with it. So I just place the entire Moringa branch in there. Now I'm going to go feed my larger tilapia. So I just leave the, the stems and the vine and the branch in there whole and they usually just pick it clean then I take out the branch. Now there's a few other things that you can feed them. I have grapes that grow on my fence line as well. Whenever they're in season they love to eat those. You can also feed them fresh herbs and lettuce that you grow on your aquaponic system itself. But for right now we're going to teach you some things that you should plant in tandem with your aquaponics tank and some containers so that you can feed them alongside everything else. Now keep in mind these containers aren't big enough to actually grow the roots for some of these root vegetables, but what we're actually using them for is just the leaves so that we can feed our fish. So these small containers aren't such a big deal. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to plant my moringa and my malanga in this half 55 gallon barrel. worried about planting these together because one of them stays short and one of them is going to get real tall. So the malanga is pretty easy to grow from the vegetable itself. You just place it in there just like potato, which is what I'm going to do with a few of these sweet potatoes so we can have some leaves binding up our moringa tree. Now the next thing that we're going to plant is some yucca. Now I've already cut the top off of one of my mature yuccas and I just fed it to our fish. 
but you can go ahead and chop it up into about six inch lengths so that you can plant these and make cuttings out of them. So planting these cuttings is extremely easy, you just put them in the ground. I usually put several in there if I want to move them out and plant them elsewhere I can, but it gives me a couple chances just in case something goes wrong. Oh, you just stick those in the ground. And you're good to go. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to start our duckweed. So as you see in the previous video, we've already created our duckweed nets or duckweed, duckweed floats. And we're going to place these in the water. Now we're going to take some of our fresh duckweed and we're just going to spread it over the top of the net. And in a few days it should start multiplying. And when you're growing duckweed you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. So I like to take this, this uh, 17 gallon tub that I use to transfer my fish and fill it up with some of my old aquaponics water. And then we're going to start some duckweed in there as well as a backup. So we just filled this up with the water from our old biofilter and it's got a lot of nutrients in there. That's why you see that dark color and that's going to be great for growing our duckweed. In a few days all that's going to settle down and every few days you're going to want to add some water from your tank into this tank to keep it aerated and keep it fresh. So we simply just dump all this duckweed in here and let it settle out to the top. And like I said in a few days it's going to start doubling. So here we are at one of my larger tanks where I have a duckweed float already in place. As you can see, it's starting to cover the surface of it whenever you're ready and it has a good coating. You can just scoop some up, place it in the water, and your fish will enjoy it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to watch the next video where I'm going to go over fertilization before planting in your aquaponics system.